So Mike, as we move into the new year, many of us are making resolutions about what we can do to lead better lives. Right. What's the brain doing and why is it so hard to keep those resolutions? Right. They're sure easier to make than they are to keep, aren't they? Let's say that I promised myself that I would do something every day. Uh -huh. Maybe I've gotten new uh, art and I'm going to practice painting every day. Or maybe I want to practice piano so that I can improve a little bit every day. And by the end of the year, I'm going to just be a lot better and enjoy it a lot more. Uh, why don't I keep it up? What's wrong with me? Why did my interests flag? Why do I flag? Well, first of all, in order to sustain anything in your activities in the brain, you need a strong controlling executive. You need a strong captain in your little ship. And one of the things that commonly happens, especially when people don't take care of their brain for a significant period of time in life, mm -hmm. is that that captain is slowly losing control of the tiller. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and basically needs to be reinvigorated. That's the first thing. Second thing is attention. You have to sustain your vitality. You have to sustain your vi liveliness. And the machinery that controls your liveliness, that controls your vitality, is plastic. You have to attend, and not, not just on the positive side. Mm -hmm. You have to not attend on the negative side, as it were, because you also have these processes that are trying, you could say, operating to distract you. So... Attention is important because it's composed of both focus, which we tend to think of when we think of attention, right. but also suppressing distraction. You got it. And suppressing distraction is important because that has to do with our ability to uh, not go off the beam. And you got it. Keep watch. on task. You know, so the smallest thing can carry you off the beam. You can say, well, uh, this is the time when I normally practice. Oh, well, gee, there's a game on TV. I think I'll go watch that. It's, you know. All of these things are subject to improvement, and we have created our exercises specifically to drive improvement in all these areas. So, so, so engaging in challenging activities is important to brain health? Only slightly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, not important, crucial. It's crucial. You want a strong captain in your ship, and the whole brain needs to be exercised to sustain that strong, you could say, executive leadership in your brain. You, you tend to think, well, if I just somehow I'm going to put this on my schedule and every day I'll come to it on my schedule, of course those things are valuable. Mm -hmm. But it's more than that. It's really about how healthy the machinery of the, inside your skull is and how it's sustaining your vitality mm -hmm. and your liveliness and your spirits. All of those things are plastic. All of those things are improvable as a function of how you engage your brain and use it, of course. And, you know, I also have to remember what the task is, right? You have to sustain those those memory-related resources, and all of this is contributing to keeping the information that's being fed to the executive in a high-quality form. Now the executive can operate with power and control. So I know it sounds complicated, but the whole idea is to build a stronger machine that in all of its operations is effective. And if you have one, if it's really vital, if it's really in command, if it's really stable, not easily carried off the mark, you're going to keep your commitment. 